Hey yeah, guys, welcome to my channel. Please, if this is your first time in my channel, do well to subscribe, please. So today we'll be talking about how to install Visual Studio, how to install filter on Visual Studio Code. So first of all, you have to download Visual Studio Code by clicking the link here, the download button here. So as for mine, I've downloaded mine and this it. I've downloaded it. So now let's let's try to download filter. You head up to the website filter.dev. Don't worry about the, the link to download Visual Studio Code. I will drop it in the description. So let's download let's download filter to our system. So we we'll click on get started and show this page and we'll click on Windows. So this tutorial is for only Windows users, please. So now you click on download the zip file. I will drop the, the URL in the video description. So you click on download the zip file. So after downloading the zip file, I've actually get the, the both of them ready for the for the tutorial to be fast and smooth. So this is the download here. You locate your 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 zip file, your filter zip file. So this is my here. so for we to install it in our system now. Just kindly look up here very well because this is the hardest part of the video and it's more easy. So for you to install it here, we have to come to our local disk. I don't know what your own is called, but it's supposed to be local at this door. Now you open a new folder called SRC. Understand? So we are going to extract the zip file into this SRC folder. So we'll go back to my download. I will click on I will right click on the, the app or something. I will now click on extract all. I will extract it into the SRC folder I just created. SRC select folder extract. So it takes it takes some some time for it to extract. So why is extracting me? Because so it's still installing actually. It may be one percent for it complete. I want to install Flutter first before going through Visual Studio Code. And it's supposed to have even created the folder where yeah. okay, I've already installed. So if you have done this the same way I don't mind, you get something like this. If you go inside the SRC, you get something like this inside your SRC. Okay, now let's go to our command prompt. Come here and search command prompt. You want to open it and let's type filter. As you can see, filter is not recognizing the internal or external command. So now yeah, we have to put it inside our environment variables. For it to notice it's filter anywhere you are, even if you're in Android Studio or in Visual Studio, anywhere in your laptop, you just type filter and it will show you. Okay, so for you to do that, first of all, we have to search our EMV. Just type EMV in your search bar and it will show you something like this. And you click on open and you click this environment variable over here. Click on parts, double click on parts, it will open and you click on new. You understand? So now we have to put something inside from this filter folder over here into it so for we to do that we have to open the filter for this folder it's from the src we open the filter folder and there yeah, is this folder called bin you open the bin and as you can see here bring your mouse cursor up here and be like copy this copy this link over here ctrl c and you copy it this link and this particular link from your command to your src and your filter folder and inside your bin so you copy the bin the bin part now bring it inside your um, environment variables which is why and you click on new then ctrl v paste it i know you guys know this short command of the laptops and you click on ok ok and ok so now let's go back to our command prompt filter okay, not so let's try restarting our command prompt so, um, need. You see now, it seems you now recognize it. So, it's, we have done with Flutter, you are installing Flutter on our, our system. We have done installing it, downloading and installing Flutter. So, let me try on Flutter Dr. V. Sorry, I made a mistake. Has showed me that I have I have the latest Flutter version instead of my laptop, <clears throat> and I have Android Studio, I have Visual Studio Code also. So now let's touch our Visual Studio Code. You know it has already stored. So, 
after downloading the video studio just install the video studio and accept everything that they are showed to you now let's search for in the extension we have to install footer extension in visual studio code let's search for it footer and click on it and click on install so it will automatically install that extension also it's installing that extension see This will make you write some filter code on your IDE. It's taking a long time. With the already installed. Now let's let's try to restart the IDE in a new filter project, which is Control Shift plus P. Then you now type Flutter over here. Flutter new project. And the name of the project, let's call it YT Tutorial. And let's store it here. Let's store it inside. User and let's get a new folder and call it. Let me try storing instead my Android Studio project and later we'll just create a new folder for it. You can call it any name you want. Maybe Visual Studio Code project. It's creating it. It's creating the new folder. The new that's mm, footer I'm gonna put a code or footer project for you. So now we are good to go. So now you can now start running, start writing your code or anything else. So this is the demo page on Flutter. In my next tutorial, I will talk to you guys about how to start developing about it. So guys, if this is your first time on my channel, do wait to subscribe and stay tuned because I will be dropping more tutorials on how to work with Android Studio and VS Code and how to develop apps with Flutter and other things. In our next tutorial, my next tutorial, I will talk about how to use Visual Studio to write some code and build some mobile apps. Have a nice day.